back to Making Food Monday. Today I'm gonna make a recipe that my mom just gave me and she said this one is amazing. So today we're making broccoli beef. For today's recipe, we're gonna need crushed red pepper, beef bouillon powder, minced garlic, olive oil, cornstarch, brown sugar, soy sauce, sesame seed oil, broccoli florets, uh, one onion and about a pound and a half to two pounds of chuck roast and that's all that's going in our recipe today guys First thing we're gonna do is get our chuck roast cut into nice thin strips I got a chuck roast that's sliced thin already So I don't have to do too much prep for this, but I am going to make it into nice little chunks So that they will be perfect after they're cooked So I'm just gonna cut them into about one inch strips here and they're already sliced, so that should make things really easy. There we are. Now I need to take my olive oil and put about a tablespoon or so, maybe two tablespoons in the bottom of my pot. Now I'm gonna take all of this chuck roast and add all of it right to the pot. Perfect. Now we're gonna go into our sear roast function and go ahead and turn that on. And while that's browning, we're gonna take our onion and get that diced. We're gonna... I'm gonna cut it in half, half again. I'm right in my little wizard. And that's it, guys. Okay, my beef is still browning. That is okay with me. I'm going to start adding my other ingredients anyways. So in go my onions. I need four cloves or two teaspoons of garlic. There's one and there's two. I need two tablespoons of sesame seed oil. There's one and there's two. We're gonna give all of that a nice little mix there. Let a different batch of meat get browned on the bottom. We're going to add an eighth of a teaspoon, so a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of crushed red pepper. Just a little bitty guy. We need a third of a cup of brown sugar. We're gonna mix that up again. Get another batch of beef down there on the bottom. We need to add half a cup of soy sauce. We're gonna go ahead and turn off that sear roast function. The last thing that we're gonna add up here is our one cup of beef broth. Right now I'm adding water. And to that I'll add one teaspoon of beef bouillon powder to turn that into beef broth instead of water. There we go. Okay, let's make sure our beef broth powder here gets mixed in. We'll mix everything all up one last time here. This already smells so good. Okay guys, now we're ready to seal up our pot. We're gonna go in here to our chicken function because that's my high pressure. We're gonna go time cook and we're gonna bring that time cook down to 12 minutes and push start. My pot just beeped and that means it's time to let out our pressure. There we go. Now we're gonna open her up. And we're not gonna do anything right now because the first thing we need to do is get our broccoli cooked. Now this bag that I have here is a two pound bag of broccoli. The recipe calls for one pound. You guys know me though, I'm gonna double that broccoli. I'm gonna go ahead and see how much of this two pound bag I can get on top of my beef. So in it goes. If I can get this whole bag in here, that would be amazing. bag is in and I'm just gonna lay this kind of flat on top and I'm not gonna do anything else you guys I'm just gonna seal my pot right back up I'm gonna go right back into my chicken function because that's my high pressure I'm gonna take that time cook down to one minute 
I don't want my broccoli to be mushy. Ready? Go. Okay, my pot just beeped. Time to let that pressure out one more time. There we go. And our broccoli is perfectly steamed, yay! Okay guys, now I'm not sure if this step is necessary, but I'm gonna do it this way anyways, just to make sure that I can get my sauce thickened. So I'm going to put my broccoli over here into this bowl so that I can get to my sauce. And I'm not worried if I get a little beef in there too, that's okay. I'm just gonna kinda set that aside so I can thicken my sauce in here. Okay, we're gonna turn that off. We're gonna go right back into our sear roast function. We're gonna turn that right back on. Now I'm gonna mix three tablespoons of cornstarch. One, there's two, and there's three. And three tablespoons of water. There's one, there's two, and there's three. We're gonna mix those together, make a nice little slurry. We're gonna add that right to our boiling pot of beef. Of course, we're gonna stir right away and make sure that we get that nice and thick there. Okay, so I got it made and it's plated. Now all I need are my kids. Do it. Daddy pigs! Mm, I see one. What kind of guinea pig is, oh, I see another one. What kind of guinea pigs are these? Wait, I hear oinking. Oh, there's the dad. Hi, I mean, dad. I've been here all alone. Oh, you were? Mm hmm Oh. And there's the Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Hi. And where's that little one? I made magic. Mm -hmm. ah, there he is. <laughs> oh, God, I didn't get any big. Yes, Deli. Okay, who thinks this smells awesome? Me. I can't wait. Oh, Dad can't smell anything. I have a cold and I can't smell it. Dad has the man flu. <laughs> he thinks he's dying. It's been terrible. It's been a terrible day. Oh, he thinks he's dying because he's got a little bit of a stuffy <clears> nose. <throat> <laughs> Poor Dad. Okay, who wants to go first? Me. All right. Because I did the funny thing. Baby's going first. Look, I did this one. <laughs> the Wait a minute. I don't see any broccoli or beef. <laughs> <laughs> How's the rice anyway? Good? You like it? So did you want to give me any thumbs today or yeah. what? I can give me thumbs too. Thanks man. I'm feeling a little bit sorry for dad today. So he gets to go next. <laughs> All right. Come on dad, eat up. It looks delicious. I hope you can taste it. I hope I can taste it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> and it's not the man, it's a real cold. Oh, that made it tender. <laughs> wow. No. I can taste anything. <laughs> Is it good? I don't know. What I can what I can sort of taste, it's good. I, I cannot give an opinion today. My taste buds uh, are But uh, the, the meat the meat though. Dad's wiped off the table. <laughs> the meat though, the meat is very tender. No, you kids are gonna have to say it today. All right, Nano, you're up. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, you've learned from me, so. Mmm, mmm, it's so tender, and the broccoli, <laughs> it's so fresh, and mmm. Oh, the meat is so tender. Do I make a face like that? Amazing. <laughs> you do when you talk, yeah. You stick your duck lips out every time you talk. <laughs> it tastes like the meat is super tender. <laughs> <laughs> Any thumbs today, Jordan? Very fun. Yes. Thanks, buddy. All right, Mia. Mia requested that I not give her very much broccoli in hers. Okay, give it a try. I'm scared. Don't be scared, it's yummy. It's so if you mix it with your rice, it would probably be tasty, but I wanted you to taste it first and make sure you liked it before I mixed it. Do you like it? And yes, it is. It's just like the spice. What? what? It's just a tiny, witty bit There's the tiniest, 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 bit of spicy stuff in there and you can taste it? Like kind of bit in, in my Gosh. Mouth. A little bit. Okay. So, are you going to give it any thumbs? Mm. It's 
Sideways? So that'd be tender. Mm, okay. Yeah, Thanks, tender. Mia. Wow. Okay, guys. My final thoughts. This recipe is really pretty good. It's not my favorite recipe we've ever had, but I could definitely eat it and not be disappointed in dinner. This will be probably one of my go-to chuck roast recipes because it really was tasty. I would probably scoop that broccoli out just like I did today and make sure that I could um, thicken the sauce. My, my sauce didn't thicken as much as I wanted it to, but after it cooled, it was thicker than it started. So that was something. Um, if I could possibly cook my broccoli a little less, I would, because my broccoli was just slightly over mushy the way I don't like it. If you really like your, your broccoli cooked really soft, this was perfect. I like mine with a little bit more bite to it. So if I could possibly cook it less, I would do that. Other than that though, I think I would be, I would be happy to have this again. Um, I'll give it two thumbs up. Who thought that it was awesome? Yay. Mia, what did you end up thinking? You gave it sideways thumbs, but what happened after that? It was really good after I put salt on it. You really liked it, didn't you? Mia ate all of her dinner, you guys. That one was a super, a super success, wasn't it? But next time, I don't put a lot of broccoli. Mia doesn't like the broccoli so much, but I think it worked out great because I <laughs> like having... Bless you, Dad. Thank you. I like Bless having... Bless you, Dad. Thank you. I like having extra broccoli. Yes, sir. Dinner's done and it's time for bed. So, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you want to make this channel, share it with.